Hello and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. Keeping you in the fast track with daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. I'm Mikey G and it's Monday, May 9th. Tesla released interesting and rare details about its approach to sourcing lithium, nickel, and cobalt directly from mines. This is instead of the practice of getting it through cell suppliers. In brief, Tesla hopes to mitigate and control the environmental and social risks of going through longer supply chains. They write in part, quote, As a result, the impact of mining activity on the environment and local communities lends itself to greater environmental and social scrutiny from civil society, policymakers, and investors. Now, the automaker goes on to say that they have directly sourced over 95% of lithium hydroxide, 50% of cobalt, and more than 30% of the nickel used in its high-energy density cells in the year 2021. Tesla confirmed that it has significantly increased its battery recycling capacity over the last year. Originally, Tesla has been working with third-party recyclers, but we reported on the company using its own unique battery recycling system back in 2019. Last year, Tesla reported that it achieved 92% battery cell material recovery in its new process, and it recycled 1,300 tons of nickel, 400 tons of copper, and 80 tons of cobalt in the year 2020. Now, in the 2021 report, Tesla increased the battery recycling to 1,500 tons of nickel, 300 tons of copper, and 200 tons of cobalt. Interestingly, copper recovery went down, but cobalt recovery went up significantly. At the current price of $80,000 per ton for cobalt, Tesla has recovered the equivalent of $16 million. With the recent surge in nickel prices, the nickel recovered last year is worth more than $45 million right now. Tesla says that most battery packs it currently recycles come from research and development and the quality control departments. Tesla has filed a lawsuit against Alexander Yatskov, a recently hired engineer who Tesla claims stole trade secrets related to the Dojo supercomputer. The Dojo supercomputer is a project that Tesla is developing to help train its neural nets, which are primarily used in the self-driving effort. Yatskov was hired as a thermal engineer, and he was assigned on the project to work on cooling systems. Tesla claims that quickly after starting the job, Yatskov started downloading confidential and tightly guarded information relating to the supercomputer to his personal laptop. In the lawsuit, the company claims that Yatskov admitted to stealing the information when confronted. As part of the lawsuit, they are seeking, quote, compensatory and exemplary damages and an order that would stop Yatskov from disseminating its trade secrets and direct him to return all proprietary data. Herbert Dees, the CEO of Volkswagen Group, believes that the German automaker can sell more electric cars than Tesla by the year 2025. At Electrek, we wish Volkswagen the best of luck, because they will undoubtedly need it. Last quarter, Volkswagen Group, which does include Porsche, Audi, and others, delivered 99,064 all-electric vehicles. During the same period, Tesla delivered over 310,000. At the rate that Tesla is growing by the year 2025, Tesla will likely have a production capacity of more than 4 million cars per year. Tesla also is working on several big projects, including the Cybertruck, Semi, Roadster, and a Chinese-designed electric vehicle. Volkswagen does have one big thing coming that we know of, the ID Life vehicle. That'll launch in 2025 and is expected to be their high-volume seller at $25,000. No word yet on when Tesla expects to launch their own $25,000 electric car. In today's community comment, Larry Davidson says, your beard will offer you hegemony in this EV news space. Yo. Yes, Larry, soon to be brought forth is the coming day of my dominance, when the sprawling beard shall cover from ear to ear, and there'll be nothing standing in the way of my absolute victory. And after I trim the hedges of many small villages and apply dangerous amounts of Just For Men beard color, then all will tremble in fear at my YouTube EV News recap hegemony. <laughs> I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.